and for our draw map function I know this video is getting kinda long right now but for our draw map function we it takes two parameters it takes the bitmap for our buffer and it takes the uh, it takes the our map array so right now we have an integer called color and it's just gonna let us know which color or what color the block should be so we want to scroll through every single index within our map array so we're gonna use two for loops in order to do that so we use one for loop to loop until our map size x and the next one to loop till our map size y and then we say that if the index of map ij is equal to zero then we set the color to a uh, sort of a bluish color for the sky and if the map ij is equal to one then we say that the color is equal to make we change the color into a greenish color then we actually need to draw our rectangle and we need to know where to draw our rectangle to the screen we essentially do this by using the rect fill function so we're drawing a, rect a rectangle to the buffer and then for our x1 is going to be i times block size y1 is equal to j times block size x2 is equal to i times block size plus block size and y2 is equal to j times block size plus block size and the color is equal to the color that we've modified it to now what is essentially going on here so say I were say we're drawing uh, this value right here okay so we're drawing the second value in our array okay so right now that will that would mean that i would be equal to one but j is still equal to zero because we're, we're still drawing the first row so j would be equal to zero so um we're gonna put we put that if okay no 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 sorry okay sorry i just i just confused myself and i just I just realized what I was saying was essentially wrong. Okay, so if we're what the way we're gonna draw it is not the same way we're actually loading in the values. Okay, so we're since what this is gonna do is it's gonna say that i is equal to zero, and then it's gonna go down here and it's gonna say j is equal to zero. It's gonna loop again, then j is gonna be equal to one. It's gonna loop and loop and loop again. So essentially, when we draw, we're gonna be drawing it vertically. So we're gonna draw this 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 all the way down then we draw this column right here we draw this column and etc etc and if you want to draw it horizontally rather than vertically there's you can easily modify your code to do so it's not rocket science but it doesn't matter which way you do it it will still draw it essentially the same way so uh, as long as you loaded it in properly it should draw it the same way so what this is going to do is that say I want to draw this file in index right here so in the x coordinate this is the second one right here so I would be equal to 1 and y is going to be equal to 1 okay so it's going to say draw this at 1 times block size so it starts drawing at the pixel 40 and then since j is going to be equal to 0 it's going to say start drawing from 0 on the y axis and then f 1 times 40 plus 40 so we stop drawing at pixel 80 and then 0 times 40 plus 40 is going to say stop drawing at pixel 40 and therefore and then we draw the color and then therefore it would draw our map at the correct position so if we go to our main function we're just going to do all the basic initialization stuff we're creating our buffer, our boolean variable to, for our game loop, and we create our map array. Make make it 100 by 100, and then we load our map. The map I've named it map1.txt. So we're gonna load our first map. We put in our map array that we're loading, and then we put our done our boolean variable right there. And then for a game loop, we say that if they press the escape key, then it exits the game. And we draw our map, we blit our map to the screen, and then we clear the bitmap. And of course, we destroy the bitmap at the end. So let me run this program to see what we get. So 
so as you can see when you compile compiling time can actually be detrimental to your productivity so it might not always take this on to compile but compile times can really be a hassle so as you can see it draws the sky and then it draws the ground at the bottom okay so now say I want to modify my map I don't have to change any of my code I can just go to my map file and say that I just want to make some ground tiles right here so I just make some ground tiles right there and then I save my file and then I run it again it doesn't have to re recompile it will just open the game window again so when it opens you see that it shows some of the green tiles over here so when we modify the code it modifies it in the game as well when we modify the text file it modifies it in our code because it reads it at runtime now just to show you what would happen if we essentially didn't load this properly so if I set this to load counter y plus plus and I said load counter y is greater than or equal to map size y etc etc and I just change all these values right here if we run the program this is how your map will work with this certain drawing mechanism so if we load it like that then see your map is drawn at a different angle like at a different 90 degree angle right it's drawn sideways or not not the way you'd want it to be drawn now you can fix the way it's drawn in the te in the draw in the draw function by seeing the order in which you draw it, draw it with i believe that if we do map size y and map size x there it will draw it correctly it's just that it's either it's, it just depends on the way you load it you have to visualize the way you load it and draw it the way that you have loaded it so i believe if you do that no it doesn't modify it you would have to sorry you would have to i believe you'd have to switch j and i to load everything correctly in your program and then everything would run smoothly and therefore it would draw it correctly oh no I never changed these values over here but you'd have to basically um yeah basically it would draw it correctly if you mod if you change J and I what color is supposed to be drawn and everything else would be drawn correctly but it just uh, it just goes to show that the way you load it and the way you draw it is important and you have to recognize the way you load it and the way you draw it the way I've shown you is an easy way to go about it hopefully you can easily comprehend it but if you can't comprehend it easily then you can always modify it to suit your needs so that is it for this tutorial right here I hope you really enjoyed it and in the next tutorial we're gonna be learning about a more dynamic way to load our maps in case we really don't know what size our map is gonna be so hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thanks for watching and bye.